Hello and welcome to this episode of Anime Cons TV. I'm Patrick Delahanty and I'm here to talk about two conventions that I visited in one day. It is uh, Wine Country Comic Con and Santa Rosa Toy and Comic Con. I'm standing in front of the Petaluma Veterans Memorial Hall, which is the site of Wine Country Comic Con, and that's the one I checked out first. Um, now before I start, there's a bit of history between these two conventions. They don't get along well. And I pretty sure that this at Wine Country Comic Con was scheduled on the same day as Santa Rosa Toy Con out of spite uh, because Santa Rosa Toy Con was scheduled first by like a year um, and there's bad history between the two conventions. Um, my first exposure to the history between the two I was at Lumicon which I did a report on back in January or February and uh, Somebody came by handing out uh, Wine Country Comic Con, I don't even want to call them flyers, they're like business card pieces of paper. And so at one point I was just standing there uh, looking at this, marveling what a disaster the logo was with its 80s style colors and terrible design. And uh, somebody comes up and says, yeah, that's a scam. Uh, they're doing it for charity, but it's not really for charity. And, and before I could get two words out and you know try to follow up and find out, hey, wait, what? What's going on? He he walks off, and uh, so I found out later that that was Mike Holbrook, the uh, the creator of and chair of uh, the Santa Rosa Toy Con, and so I actually made a very big blog post on uh, FanCons.com saying, you know, don't badmouth other conventions; it doesn't make you look good. Well, turns out he might have been right about this because um, there was uh, there were a lot of uh, Facebook groups in the Bay Area talking about cosplay or art, and they were suddenly being spammed for Wine Country Comic Con, saying it's going to be a great event, and it's very suspicious. And there's all these cosplayers that are saying they're going. Well, a friend of mine uh, did a Google search on the image that one of the people promoting it was using and it turns out to be a uh, Russian cosplayer uh, and uh, so this Frida Avila was totally fake and uh, they're all a Ukrainian cosplayer named Liza Kotsyakaya all right but uh, so Nerd and Ty found out about this, they investigated more, found out a bunch of other Facebook accounts posting about this convention were also fake. Uh, they're likely set up by somebody on staff, probably the organizer, uh, Euro Euro Brenna. Um, and after the fake was exposed, the account was deleted, which is an, either an amazing coincidence or a confirmation that it really was fake. Um, and of course, jumping on this opportunity, Mike Holbrook uh, makes sure that everybody uh, in every comment thread gets links to this article on Nerd and Type saying that this is these are fake accounts. So he's uh, jumping on the misfortune uh, and uh, he also had a letter from the charity that Wine Country Comic Con planned to donate to saying they're not affiliated with the convention and asking them to stop using their name. Uh, so anyway there's a whole bunch of drama between these two conventions. Uh, and it, it ended up that uh, Wine Country Comic Con took place back in April. Uh, they had 17 guest cancellations, at least 17 guest cancellations. Um, and they had a few guests, uh, Stanley's daughter was there and some local ones, uh, but like Robert Axelrod canceled, um, Vic Mignogna was there, um, but yeah, uh, 17 other cancellations. Um, so then they scheduled this one uh, on September 24th, the same day as Santa Rosa Toy Con. What a coincidence. And uh, so this ran from noon to 6 p.m. They promoted it as comics, anime, animation, cosplay, and other great cool stuff that we love. It's very all-encompassing and vague. Um, so when you walk in, it's free admission, so that's, that's good. Uh, but you walk in, you'll see a hall that has a few vendors in the middle and their tables aren't even very full. Uh, there's not a lot of merchandise for sale. And for a Comic Con, there's not many comics there. 
Uh, they've got a wall set up with the logo for interviewing cosplayers. And there's a stage at the front, a very nice stage. And there's seating for that for whatever events. Uh, they were playing video games on the stage and they had the people playing the game sitting directly in front of the screen but facing off to the side. So you got their shadow on this. It was not a great setup. Uh, there's a giant check up on the stage. But then the far wall was all video games. And uh, it was all Nintendo Wii and Nintendo GameCube playing Smash Brothers. And apparently they were doing a Smash Brothers tournament. And most of the people there were clearly there for the Smash Brothers tournament. It turns out that one of the top ranked Smash Brothers players in the world happens to live in the Petaluma area. And so he was there and he brought a bunch of his friends. And uh, so they were there to win the $500 cash prize for this Smash Brothers tournament. Uh, spoiler alert, they won. And uh, he was given $500 cash. Uh, they also gave $500 to the uh, cosplay winner. Um, but they couldn't have had that much income from uh, the dealers. So combined with the hall rental and the cash prizes, this was clearly uh, not a money-making venture. And uh, I, I can't help but think that this was done out of spite. Um, the, it's a low turnout. They had some food that, you know, was, I think, probably brought in from Costco. Uh, the guests were all locals, and, uh, oh, the, uh, the website for Wine Country Comic Con sucks. Uh, the design is terrible, and they have, they had not much information about this event at all. A lot of it, like the guest page, just said, check our Facebook for all the announcements. So I'm not going to search through a bunch of Facebook posts just to find a list of who you've got as guests. That's ridiculous. Um, so come on, have a real website. And <laughs> I had to laugh though because at the bottom of the website it says that it uh, was uh, created with heart by Braina Outreach Strategies, which <laughs> doesn't really want to make me hire them to make my website because not a lot of effort put into that just to say hey go look at Facebook instead clearly <laughs> the organizer loves Facebook and that's a problem uh, there was a flyer or a big poster uh, made by one of the artist guests uh, promoting their next event which is apparently December 11th in Rohnert Park um, I looked up the address they gave because they didn't list an actual venue name so I looked up the address and it appears to be a sports card store so maybe it was a misprint on the address, but you know, this was a small event with not many people, but I don't know how they could fit that in a sports card store. So I don't know, I'm gonna be keeping an eye on that. Will I go back? No, nope. Um, so yeah, that's Wine Country Comic Con. And now let's talk about Santa Rosa Toy Con. Uh, I had fairly low expectations for that. I thought it would probably be a little bigger than this because it's been around for four years. Uh, actually, now they're the Santa Rosa Toy and Comic Con because, you know, everybody's going to have Comic Con in their name. Uh, and uh, they're at the Sonoma, Co Sonoma County Fairgrounds. Uh, and that's where they've been their whole time, which is a great facility because there's a lot of space there. They actually have fairs. Uh, there was one main hall that had the dealers and there's a lot of dealers, so many more than uh, wine country. And the dealers also had a lot more stuff at their tables and a, a wide variety of dealers too. Comics, toy, a lot of toys, of course, it's toy con. Uh, but then like even somebody selling things to display cases for your toys or whatever to put on the wall or wherever. Uh, they had some fairly well-known guests, including Lex Lang, uh, Veronica Taylor, the original Ash from Pokemon, and uh, Phil Lamar from Futurama, and George McFly from Back to the Future uh, 2 and 3. So the fake George McFly, the guy that was upside down or always blurred out or in the background. And so... Uh, and uh, a bunch of other guests too. Uh, they also had the 501st there, the Rebel Legion, the Mandalorian Mercs, and R2 Builders. Uh, a lot of food vendors. If you want a popcorn, con corn dogs, or anything to eat, there's plenty of options. All vendors from the fairground. I regret not getting a corn dog. 
the, um, the admission to this was $15 and you know between $15 there and free at wine country I think I'd rather pay 15 bucks because there's so much more and the guests up at uh, Santa Rosa were uh, I don't want to say they're better but they're more plentiful there's more guests so a wider variety and uh, it, it's clearly the better of the two. The one place that it really disappointed was their video game. Wine Country Comic Con was better with video games than Santa Rosa Toy Con. Santa Rosa Toy Con had a huge haul for video games, but very few systems, and there was hardly anybody there, and so there was just no one. You walk in the room, and it's like, oh, that's it? There's, and there's nobody there playing or having fun. It's just systems on very large TV the TVs were better these TVs were absolutely tiny at wine country um, and also the Santa Rosa Toy and Comic Con their website sucks too um, they also do a lot of their updates on Facebook and say I don't remember the website wasn't updated for quite a while and uh, you know it's, it'd be nice to just put a list of guests on there and put directions registration information all the essentials and both of these cons need to pay more attention to their websites. Um, and so that's the Santa Rosa Toy and Comic Con. And uh, yeah, I, I ended up spending more time at the Toy and Comic Con in Santa Rosa. It was, there was so much more to see. Uh, a lot more vendors. Uh, I bought some stuff there. There's, I got some stickers that were interesting. I got some comics. Uh, the Charles Schultz Museum was there with a table promoting their museum that's up in Santa Rosa and yeah I had a good time there uh, so I'd probably go back there next year um, I don't know their dates next year it's probably it's usually September so it's probably around then uh, as for wine country they're in December I don't know if they're gonna do anything beyond that I don't know if it's free in December I'm not even gonna bother you know, I'm going to do some Christmas shopping instead, I guess. Maybe work on the podcast. Uh, and so if you were at One Country Comic Con or Santa Rosa Toy and Comic Con, we would love to hear from you. Uh, you can leave us email at podcast at animecons.tv or uh, call our voicemail line at 762-ADEQUATE. That's 762-233-7828. Uh, if you're on staff, if you're one of the attendees, you know, if you want to correct some of the stuff. I know there's a lot of drama between the two, and I don't think it's going to end, which is a shame. You know, just leave each other alone. Because, you know, Mike, Uriel is just digging himself a hole. Uriel, let Mike do his thing. What does it affect you? Whatever. Just don't do it the same day, and you'll have a better con. So, guys, stop fighting. Come on. Anyway, uh, yeah, uh, you can also subscribe. Please subscribe to Anime Cons TV. Or on YouTube, there's a little subscribe button. And uh, if you're watching this in the podcast, you can go to animecons.tv slash subscribe for tons of subscribe options, whether it's iTunes or Pocket Casts or any of the other ways to watch. Um, and uh, yeah, look forward to seeing you next week with another new episode every Monday. See ya.